almost as much fun as flying free flight models for me is locating them with all my electronic gadgets. One field I fly from has really tall grass and finding even very large models can be tough at times. Most of the time now I'm using a GPS to find the models, but I had started out using a Walston and that works really well after you've spent some time using it. I have another RF unit uh, from BMK that I use on my smaller models. So last weekend I flew from this rough farm field that had been uh, plowed after the corn was picked. Most of my flights were done with this electric powered sniffer and I was using the BMK GPS system. I was using the corresponding app on my smartphone and it gave me the path of the farm roads. Uh, I could see where the plane was in location to uh, the roads. Walking through this field is really tough. It's easier to walk around on the uh, the farm roads would be even easier if you had a motorcycle. This is uh, the view that you see from the app. You can see where I launched the plane with a uh, arrow and you can see where it landed and it's very close to that road. It will be interesting to find out how this app works for people that have to do some really long chases. I know people have found their models it went, you know, several miles uh, using a Walston, but I think this will make it uh, even easier, especially if it's uh, unfamiliar territory for you. Here you see my plane out in the rough field. In this following video segment, I recorded my smartphone as I launched my plane and it uh, tracked the uh, path of the flight. You notice that the top of the screen is red and that means it wasn't uh, completely connected uh, with the app. Uh, I'll have to be more aware of that uh, in the future, make sure that I am completely connected. But just the same, it was uh, showing uh, the location as it moved around. Now my issue could have been that my uh, battery, which was just the 40 uh, milliamp uh, battery, uh, had been on for like over an hour. And according to the manual, that's about as much time as you get. Normally I connect with the uh, power battery in the system. This is a little trick I found on the internet where you do the KISS procedure and it will zero out the altitude for you. You can see here where it's uh, reading zero now where it had been at like uh, three meters uh, high. Now here's another issue I found when my battery got way down on the beacon. Even though it shows 3.7 it must have been lower than that and you can see my plane was right in front of me but it was showing at 131 meters out. I unplugged the beacon and plugged it in and it was showing uh, battery low so it was down. On Friday I did a lower tech uh, type of tracking. I was flying my tip launch glider and it landed in the field and the uh, fin, vertical fin part of it broke off. Of course I didn't notice that until I had walked all the way back to the grassy area. But as I looked back out at the field, I could see my footprints. So I followed my footprints, and darn if I didn't find that little part of the fin. And here it is, and you can see it blends in well with those corn stalks. And Saturday I flew my E-20 and used the uh, BMK uh, RF tracker. With uh, some practice, this works pretty good.